y'all. It's Deanna. Hey, it's Sunday the 12th. I haven't made anything or made any videos in a few days. I worked on uh, trying to make a wire teardrop wrapped component thing. One day. Wasted a bunch of wire doing that. But anyway, I'll probably, I'm working on the earring for that now. And once I get the first one done, I'll probably record the second one or part of it. Because it's wire wrapping seed beads on a component that takes a while. But anyway, I worked on it for a little while today. And then I decided to start working on a bracelet, not a bracelet, an anklet for the lady, one of my friends who comes and helps me do housework sometimes and I don't have money to pay her lately because money's tight for a lot of people but I have beads so I make her jewelry instead so this time she was here yesterday and I gave her a necklace and a pair of earrings because we ran into a great big mess that and nobody knew was behind my dresser. <clears throat> but anyway, she's got to come back and finish the uh, living room and kitchen floors. So I'm gonna make her an anklet. And I get help doing, I used to not have to have help doing housework, but it's quite painful these days, so. I get help and she likes the jewelry so I started this and was like it's like okay I'll record that and then I started it and didn't even start recording so I started with the chain and some of these I don't know if these are supposed to be like moonstone or something there they were in bargain beatbox August, yeah, because September was a different one. So August, I believe. <clears throat> anyway, the necklace and earrings are from the same bargain bead box kit. Y'all saw the necklace, and I think you saw the earrings if you watched my videos. So, I'm going to put two more of these on here. But I've got to figure out what's the middle part between these two and I need something to hold them so I can find the middle okay that's in my way I don't want the middle right here easier said than done easier said than done okay I think that this one is the middle. So I'll leave that little pin in there until I get the <coughs> bead um, ready to go on it. So I'm wire wrapping them um, to try and stay in the frame, y'all. <coughs> mm. I haven't got a cough drop in today. Allergies have been bad the past couple of days. Sneezing, itchy, watery eyes. And, mm. and all that drainage does not help a cough. So we're going to wire wrap it so you get your head pin, put it in the bead. Grab it with your needle nose pliers or flat nose. And then fold the head pin over. And then you can have a 90 degree angle. And then you get your round nose pliers and fit them into that little 90 degree angle. And then you fold it up over the round nose plier. Then you turn your plier and you fold it around that little piece there. So then you have this <clears throat> which 
which I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit. Then you have that. So, because I'm wire wrapping it, I have to put it on the chain before I finish it. So, you get your chain and you just kind of let it snap on there. I don't know that it really snaps, but you know. Um, well, come on. There we go. I'm gonna misshape it a little bit, not terrible. Not enough to make a difference. Then, you grab your, the loop piece of your head pin it back up and okay I don't like how I'm holding it hang on y'all let me get a different side there we go it's better then you just take your wire and you wrap it around itself and you can use pliers to hold onto the wire or you can use your fingers and it depends on the wire, too, for me anyway, as to whether I can hold it or not. I mean, as to whether I can do it with my fingers or not. I'm going to get these curved pars here so that I can finish this. And you gotta tuck your wire in so that it's not poking out, gonna scratch anything or catch on anything. And it's on there. And then I'll find the middle. I'll find the middle between these two. <coughs> if you put your like I just put the, the loop part of the beads not the chain but the loop on the beads on this head pin and you let it hang down uh, come on now but behave yourself I hear dogs barking too Hang on, let me turn that a little. Maybe it'll be easier to see. Okay. So if you let it hang, then it'll get to the point that is your, your middle. And I know that's hard to see on camera. But it just hangs down and you grab that very lowest link oops which is your middle it's easier than counting well not not necessarily easier but with these little links it's hard to miscount so we'll leave this one on here until I get the other one done <coughs> And put your head pin in. Get your flat nose pliers. So you just grab it. And bend it. So you have that. And I think I'm fixing to be interrupted. So you go up and over, turn, and go under, and there you have that, and I'm just going to
straighten it up, which is called. See how it looks like if someone else described it on TV today. Who was that? I don't even remember. Anyway, she said something like it was a person wearing a scarf blowing in the wind. So this little point here, let's see if I can do this. This little point right here is too sharp of a point. So I'm gonna straighten it up and it's called breaking the neck. So I straightened it up a little bit, not a lot, a little, to where it's not quite so sharp of a turn. It's hard to tell, but it's not. And then I need, <clears throat> oh, I've got to put it on the chain. I almost forgot. Get it on my chain. Get that head pin out of the way. I need it to go through there. There it goes. Okay. Now we'll grab this and just wrap it around. And I'm not doing them perfect. They're going to be messy wraps. If I was going to do them perfect, I'd hold it with the pliers and do it, but I'm not. I gotta finish it now. Let's see if I can get this to turn. Just about. I'm gonna tuck it in a little bit better than that, but. this up so I can see what I want to do. I'm just going to put, do I have four? One, two, three, four. <laughs> so, these are going to have to have bead caps on them because this little head pin go right through it so you have to have big caps I've got to find the middle just like I did the others Let's see I forget who I learned this trick from it might have been Wendy Whitman watching her stuff One's in the middle. It's not catching right. So I can't tell. Hmm. 
It's not hanging there or something. It's not falling that for me. Ah, get on there. There we go. Just had to fiddle with it for a minute to get it to find it. Okay, leave that there. Get my little bead caps. Oops. I could turn them over like that. It'd be different. Y'all, I need some seed beads. If, let me see how it does. It may not. Yeah, it moves too much. These holes on these porcelain beads are kind of. They're kind of big, so the beat oh, Oliver's at the door whining. They're kind of big, and they move more than I want them to. So let's see, we don't have a tray somewhere. So. Find some seed beads that are little. I think these worked the best, didn't they? So those little, those these little beads, seed beads, they fall down in that hole. I can't remember who I learned that trick from either, but they fall down, and then they stabilize it. So it doesn't wobble so much. There. And then it sits on your on its um bead cap better. More I don't know what the word is I want, but and I'm gonna use some of those purple seed beads while I'm thinking about it. Because there's purple in this porcelain thing. So let's see. Use this one for the top here. And I'm not going to try and wire wrap this one. I'm just going to make a loop, I think. I don't think there's enough there to, want to wrap. So I'm just going to make a loop, yeah. Um, I'm going to try making my own loop and not using that one step looper. fingers <laughs> yeah. that this does what I want it to do there we go it's not too bad I made a loop, yay! Those loops have been quite difficult to get, and I don't normally make them very pretty. 
And that one's not terrible. It's not the prettiest, but not bad. So, then I'm going to open it up just a little. Find my little middle here. Which one are you? This one? Now this is where my fat fingers get in the way. No, don't lose it. See, I know what I want to do, but I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try grabbing it by the end. Oops. Ah. Anybody have a trick for this one? <clears throat> Come on. Hmm. Lost my middle. I just want you to go on my chain. <laughs> Oliver, what are you doing? You coming in to take a nap? Now the other cat's warning. Lolly, lay down on your box. All thumbs. Okay, hey, y'all, um, I'm back. <laughs> if you hear buzzing in the background, he is in there shaving when it's right next to this room. Okay, I got it on there. Finally. 
There we go. Okay. Oh. I'm sore from cleaning yesterday. I think we cleaned this housework for about four hours and I helped. Oh. Now I can't bother any. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I hurt everywhere. Oh. Mm. Okay. I have taken it easy today, but I'm getting stiff sitting in this chair. Which is not the most comfortable chair, but it works. It works. It does the job. It gives me a place to sit to do this. So, we need to do just... Um, ooh, well, I can make it before I find the middle. So we got a bead cap. And anyway, he's shaving. Bead cap. I think he's going to run to Mississippi tomorrow. Which is only... I don't know, remember which town he's going to. If he's going to old... To, um... Moss Point, Ocean Springs, or Pascagoula. To see if the print shop there needs anybody. <sighs> Trying to find him a job. Which I need to be doing. Well, my jobs are gig work. And I need to be getting ready to do that again. But I don't want to because I don't want to catch COVID. It would not be good with my asthma. But... I have money. Okay, drop down in there. There we go. Get that bead in there. So he's going to go see if they still need help. Because he's a, been a pressman since good grief. He was 19, I guess. 18, 19? I don't even remember. So... I think I could get one more. I can find one. Headpin is bent all out of whack. <laughs> it is all, it is all bent. I guess now he's going to take a shower. So, if you can hear the running water, I'm sorry. What? Life goes on. That's too long. Let me cut a little off. If you clip wire head pins or anything and you don't wear glasses mm -hmm. make sure you turn your head and also my cat is in here so it, I had to put my finger in front of it so it didn't go flying everywhere and hit him in the eye or anything
That little one is not working out as well as the first one did. I know my fat fingers don't help either. I have a gnat flying around me. Mm. Okay, that's just not not doing what I want it to do. Not quite as pretty of a of a uh, well, um, loop. straight it wants to be all kinds of crooked I think I'm gonna start over only because I've moved that wire so much, I don't want it to be weak. And I'm afraid it's going to be too weak and break. So, we just start over. Some of this wire, the more you manipulate it, manipulate it some of it will get hard, some of it gets extra super soft. And either way, they get weak. Oh, because, uh, what am I trying to say? The, uh, I have some wire that's so hard that you mess with it enough, even though it's hard and hard to move, it gets brittle. Well, the soft stuff can get, it may not, some of it may not get real soft, but it gets weak. Weak, weak, and then breaks. Loses its integrity, I guess. Uh, get down in there. Now, those aren't going. Why aren't they going? I don't know. This one. I think I'm gonna have to take beef it up for the night here in a minute. I can't see it here much longer. I think I need one more bead in there. I wonder if that one's too long. We'll see. We'll find out. Nope, it worked. Okay, so y'all pray that by the time you see this video, he'll probably have been and come back. from the print shop there in Mississippi. Pray that he gets a job. I'm not worried about being homeless or anything. I have a friend who has a, excuse me, has a, um, house behind her house. 
so that if I ever, ever have to, I can come stay there for a while. Even with my animals, so. I just don't know. How that would go with all these animals, but you know. Anyway, my gig work that I do now, or did, haven't done in a long time, not since COVID. It's just. Too close to people. I think that's still too long. We'll try this. Make a bigger loop. There we go. Okay, so to find the middle. Open my loop. Let's see if I can do it this way. No, nope, because I lost the middle. Oops, I think I've knocked the camera. Can I? Come on now. That's <laughs> great. This is.
I know, I'm having trouble finding the middle again. I'm not. I'm just having all thumbs issues. Then I had to turn, uh, edit some out because he was talking to the cats and, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, with my gig work, because I do the, or I did do the delivering groceries, shopping and delivering groceries for people, or driving people to their, um, workman's comp, physical therapy appointments, and delivering for Amazon, which included delivering groceries for Amazon, delivering fast food, delivering for a Walmart pickup. It wasn't for Walmart, it was a different company, but it was Walmart pickup that we delivered. But that's too much, too close to people. I don't want to catch, I don't want to get sick, and I don't, I am not vaccinated. The nurse in me right now doesn't trust that vaccine, so, and I know there's nurses that have been vaccinated, but I don't trust it. Slugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do like to visit the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard you talking. I was like, I was, you saw him record, so. Hi, everybody. Oh, that'll all get deleted out. This whole slugs thing won't even be on there. Or muted. Mm -hmm. So. She hits here. me all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I left the buzzing of the razor in, but. Or will. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come, on, come on, come on now. Don't do this. Don't hit me! I'll still delete it. Or mute. I can turn the volume down on any part of the video. Mm -hmm. The editing software lets you. <laughs> okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, go in. go no come on now oh yay it's on there now i just have to close the loop Oi. which is uh, don't fall off now i just have to close the loop Oi. which is uh, don't fall off i gotta edit or it will be edited so if this video may have some spaces where there's no sound no talking because boyfriend came in here and then he's standing here going don't hit me she hits me all the time you know i'm like you do realize i can edit that out right <laughs> i'm like the software lets you take stuff out of any part of the video that you want to take it out <coughs> oh, he's so silly so silly Come on now, I can't get my, it is time to stop for the night, that's for sure. I may put this first, I'll leave this probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It may be a two-part video, I don't know, I'll have to decide. I can't get my loop closed because I'm having all well, thumbs issues.
honestly. It doesn't want to close. <clears throat> Put it up here by my face, y'all. So sorry. <sighs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a cow, y'all. No. I'm not gonna have a cow, but his head pins are not behaving. At all, it's going to be too weak. <sighs> mm. Love those days when everything seems to not work. leave that little piece of head pin on the chain that way I know where the middle is. Uh oh. Ooh, knocked my camera. Anyway. Back to my gig work. You know, having to go in stores and around everybody all the time. All day. Every day. Or sit in a car with somebody you do not know, don't know what they do, it, how safe they are when they go out, or anything like that. So I've applied for some at-home jobs, but I haven't heard anything. I did apply for a medical transcription. One of my subscribers suggested that because I do have a nursing degree and some places will let a nurse without a license do medical transcription in my license I did not renew it because I have no intention of working bedside so I could renew it and get, try for other work but yeah anyway I'm so burnt out on nursing it's not funny but I did apply for medical transcription only. They say they require you to be going for a PA or something else. But I was like, well, I'll try it because, you know, I certainly know the terminology. And uh, if they want somebody bad enough, they'd take somebody who already knows the terminology. I don't know if they're a stickler for that going for a PA or an MA or not. Or not MA, PA or something else. I don't remember. It might have even been pre-med, MD or PA. But you had... But that was one of their requirements. But I was like, man, I'll try anyway. We'll see. And then another one was customer service at home remote so that way I don't have to worry but that little lady that lady that comes and helps me clean I don't worry about her so much because she takes care of a lady in her 80s or 90s so she has to be careful or she'll make that woman sick. Oi, this is not doing what I want it to do. These head pins are not the best in the world either. Go back down. Oh. There we go. Let's see if we can get this on this chain. Where's that little spot? Oh, 
Nej, men ändå. Mm. Our door is hard to mm. shut. Okay. I, ooh, my table moved. I left the little piece of the other head pin on here so I wouldn't have to find the middle again. Let's see if we can get this. Get hold of this. Where is it? Get it in there. <coughs> and then closed up. Easier said. My uh, little seed bead keeps getting in the way, too. <sighs> this is where I like jump rings. to fatten this stuff. Okay, it's on and it's closed. So I'm gonna take this other little piece off from the second or third one that I cut off here. Okay. Yep, it's closed. And I think I'll make this a two-part video. I don't want to make a video that's an hour long all the time because because I have issues and um, all right y'all me and Oliver are gonna go in the other room Mama's gonna get out of this uncomfortable chair Alrighty, I'll see y'all in the next one and I'll finish it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.